Alright. <clears throat> now, remember Cece Dash from Clueless? And I'm going to skip all the pleasantries, get in with the slogan and all that later. Um, fuck all the talking. Just watch this video, come back with a commentary, and watch another one to come back with a commentary. But this one on Stacey Dash. Um, she was in Single Ladies on BH1 with uh, Lisa Ray. Yeah. So let's get it. We don't want segregation, we need to get rid of channels like BET. Stacey Dash speaks out on this year's Oscars boycott. They have to do us differently. Jada Pinkett Smith is spearheading the protest, saying she's taking a stand against the lack of diversity in this year's nomination. But Stacey doesn't agree, delivering this kind of surprising response to the boycott on Fox and Friends Wednesday morning. Either we want to have segregation or integration. If we don't want segregation, then we need to get rid of channels like BET and the BET Awards and the Image Awards, where you're only awarded if you're black. If it were the other way around, we would be up in arms. It's a double standard. Just like there shouldn't be a Black History Month. You know, we're Americans. Period. That's it. What I find astounding is that we've had a president who is black in office for the past eight years who gets most of his funding from the liberal elite in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yet, there are not very many roles for people of color. How can that be? And why is it just now being addressed? Okay, let's talk about it. Check it out. Um, contrary to y'all belief, I, I can agree, but there's two sides of every coin. The reason why um, that is is because if it wasn't for segregation, we wouldn't need a Black History Month because then we would know our history, everybody's history. Yes, they shouldn't be picked out as Oh, this is Black History Month. Oh, this is Asian Month. Oh, this is Puerto Rican Month. No, I understand that. There shouldn't be a Black History Month. But because we w didn't know our own culture, didn't know our own people, didn't know our own self, that's why they thought that they were giving us a step up or a coin by giving us Black History Month. But the diversity in the Oscars, let me talk to Jada Pinky. You know, Algis all seen this boot thing. Um... I can understand the diversity of the Oscars, but do, did you look through every nominee and every nomination to see if they actually all deserved it? Now, if they all deserved it and they didn't pick no black people this time, can we be mad? Because like, what if they picked all black people? Would Then the white people would be mad. You, you you can't satisfy everybody. So boycotting things and, 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 and is not a good idea because then you can stop something that could be good for the next person or in the future and so forth and so forth. If you want to bring awareness, that's a different story. So I agree that it needs to be diversity, but you got to check and make sure that the nominees and the nominations are accurate. And... You just can't please everybody. But yeah, we separated. Oh, we got black tele we got black entertainment television. We got the um the Essence Awards and all of these things that are just for black people. So why pe why can't white people have shit just for white people? You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a double standard. I thought it's two sides of the coin. Two ways to look at every story. Everybody got an opinion. They're like assholes. Everybody got one, you hear me? Let's keep it moving to the next thing. Only thing I don't agree with Stacey Dash is her running for some kind of political office. That ain't your bag, boo-boo. Put that bag down. That ain't you. But what's this, yo? <laughs> The idea that you as a black actress would come under such venomous attack purely because you decided 
you wanted to vote for one of the two candidates, I think is extremely objectionable. How have you dealt with the fallout from all this? Well, you know, people are going to have their own, own, own opinion. And that's the point. We're all entitled to our opinion. And I used my platform to exercise my First Amendment right as an American citizen to say who I am choosing to vote for. I mean, the thing to me is you, you voted for Barack Obama at the last yes, election. Yes, I did. So you were a Democrat then. Yes. Why have you decided to change to Mitt Romney? I would say because of the state of the country. And I want the next four years to be different. And... Okay, now, let me talk to y'all about that. I used to be a Democrat, then I changed to a Republican because I noticed that if you don't hang around people that supposedly got all the money and know everything, you don't know nothing. So the Democrats believe, oh, these are for the poor people, and only poor people can be for this um, political party. And then they don't know much because they are the poor people, and the have-nots never known enough to have. You got to know what you need to know and know who to know to become the have. So it's like being a fly on the wall. I would rather be a Republican so I can get all the knowledge and what I need to know to bring it back to my have-nots, also known as the Democrats. You feel me? And... Why can't I switch offices just like people switch opinions, just like people switch sides, people switch careers? What's the big damn difference? If it wasn't, if it's it's in stone, we should only have a couple presidents, what? Every 50 years. It shouldn't be every eight years, because then you might have to switch sides depending on who you voting for. So if I vote for a Democrat and I'm Republican, now I'm a Democrat and I vote for a Democrat and I vote for a Republican and a Democrat. What does it mean? It doesn't change me. You're supposed to vote off of what they say, not their party, and not the color of their skin. Colorism ass bastards. I believe him. You know, he. I've watched him for a while. And then when I watched him, the governor, and his wife on Meet the Press with David Gregory, I. You know, they spoke to me, and they seemed authentic and genuine in what they said about this country and the need for us to be united and move forward and, you know, <laughs> really bring up our economy, make money. Yeah. You said vote for Romney, the only choice for your future. Hard the most scandalous thing ever. Let me ask you this. Do you think it's purely because you are a famous black woman or is it because you are an actress and there aren't many actresses full stop who are now that's a good question my nigga you know why that is because she got money so then they expect her to be with the republicans she might have thought so too that that side of the coin i got i got money why am i gonna be with the broke niggas but i don't think so i think she's very genuine with what she's saying so I don't think it got nothing to do with that, but good question, homie. Good going. Republicans, what do you think has been the predominant factor in the fury? You know, in the fury, I really don't understand the fury. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Were you shocked? Were you sad? Uh, yes, Were you I was shocked, sad, not angry, saddened and shocked, really shocked. But you know what? You can't expect everyone to agree with you. These you people here, this is... Uh, Somebody who tweeted, you're an unemployed black woman endorsing Mitt Romney. You're voting against yourself thrice, you uh. poor, beautiful idiot. <laughs> and, and somebody else just put, kill yourself, you old hag. Wow, really? I mean, really disgusting. That is. That's really hot. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why you had to read the second one? You could have, you don't do. Uh, I know you're trying to get, get ratings and shit, but damn, you could have skipped that. You didn't have to say that to her or read that comment. I mean, and that's the thing about being a YouTuber. Um, Anything else, you can kind of ignore the haters, but when you're on platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Flipgram, uh, to get you all of them things, you need these comments 
whether negative or positive, to keep you afloat. You need people to keep saying shit. But sometimes niggas just need to shut the fuck up. That was uncalled for. There was no need to have the tweet or for his dumb ass to even read the tweet to her face. But she handled it with class even on the weekend. You hear me? I just feel that, you know, as a country, this is my choice. This is the man who's in the country. Right. I mean, it's it, it my right as an American citizen. It's my constitutional right to have my choice of yes. who I want to vote for but for president. I'm not and I'm not yes. to have it. And I chose him not by the color of his skin, mm. but the content of his character. So, yeah, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You know what it is. Sometimes it's your boy, sometimes it's your girl, Charlotte Carolina, and I will snap myself into existence till I can't no more. And like that, we on. But my girl, Stacey Dash, got class even on the weekend. You heard me? And we gone.